Hello everyone. Um, I am now along the coast. Um, I'm, I'm going to let you guys see what I see for a moment. Um, this is where I'm sleeping tonight. That is an old, um, right there is an old uh, military barracks, long abandoned. This is where I'm seated. I'm just seated along some random rock. Uh, that's my tent by this old abandoned fishing thing. And that's a friend I made along the way uh, who's actually done the whole trail that I've done also. I just now ran into him. Um, let me sit you guys up here. Uh, man, it's kind of crazy that my journey is is approaching its, its end. Um, I remember starting this, <laughs> Dublin didn't feel like a, a sea town, you know, it didn't seem like a town that's like on the sea, even though it was, it just didn't have any sort of, I don't know, it just seemed like a city, you know, so along the way, I just kept, the end goal in my mind was on the tops of mountains and through forests and through bogs, the end was, the end was the ocean. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if you can hear my friend over there. He's a little seagull. The end was the ocean. And here I am. Um, I don't want to be the focus of this. I want. Um, here I am. At the end. Uh, It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. I was thinking this earlier today. Um, I didn't think that I was able to do this. I didn't think that I was able to do this. I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I was strong enough. I didn't think I was in shape enough. I didn't have enough backpacking expertise. And I had people telling me that I couldn't do it. Not in any malicious way, but people thinking that I couldn't do it. And I was definitely one of them. Um, and the uh, first couple of days when I started along the Wicklow Way, um, I was very much in that camp. I was like, I bit off more than I can chew. I don't think I can do this. Um, but I kept going. One foot in front of the other, town after town. Um, and uh, let me hear uh, I, I'm at I'm at a I'm in a real place of peace right now. Um, oh, it smells so good here. <laughs> uh, it smells like Maine. Um, this is the most beautiful place that I've been on the trip. Um, both landscape right like what I'm seeing and also like where I'm at and here and in here um you know I think back to all the people that I've met all the people who have taken me in and given me a place to stay and helped me along my journey and the priests and I don't know I just, God is really good and it has been really good it's been very difficult it's been very difficult there are times where I definitely thought that I would fail um, but I didn't um, so tomorrow what's the plan basically hugging this coastline um, and then I have one more night of beach camping and then I'm at the end and then I have crossed the entire country by foot country. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody who has helped me along the way and watched my videos. Even my hair. Even my hair is longer. I remember I was bald getting on the airport feeling a little... <laughs> Anyways. I'm just at so much peace right now. Like, kind of with everything. Um, I think that this journey was really by God's design, probably. 
it started off with mountains that I couldn't. I talked about this a bit yesterday, but it started off with mountains that I felt I couldn't overcome at all. And ended with mountains at about the same difficulty. But the second time around, yesterday, the past few days, the second time around, those mountains with the same level of difficulty seemed easier. And really only one thing changed, and it was me. <laughs> um, Anyways, I miss home, but uh, part of me feels like this is a little bit of home in a way, you know? I mean, goodness, I've stayed here for the last month, um, but it's not like I've been in just like big cities. I've been like in the middle of nowhere. I've seen the country, you know, met people who <laughs> most people probably would not meet. Better to go home and see everybody, but I know that once I get home, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Because um, I feel like, I don't know, Ireland has a piece of me now. But like, really, you know, like, I don't know. There's a drone, my buddy's flying a drone above me. Um, anyways, yeah. That's all. It's a bit of a longer video today. Um, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I've said anyways like five times. Alright. I'm sure like I always do with these videos, I'll think of something like ten minutes later and say, shoot, I should have said that. But, you know, good thing I have one more day of footage left. Alright. Goodbye, everybody.